Good morning artists. Welcome back to Super Happy Art Adventure Times. Today we are going to be looking at the civilization of ancient Greece and we are going to learn how to draw a Greek temple. Inside the Greek temples they would place statues of the Greek gods. So the temple sort of stood as a sanctuary or a house for the statue of that god that the Greeks were worshipping. And the Greeks had many many different gods. You have Zeus, Aphrodite, Ares, the god of war. You have so many interesting characters in Greek mythology. So today to kind of honor the rich tradition of ancient Greece, we are going to be drawing a temple and you get to choose what kind of columns you wanna put on your temple. So for example, there are three different types of Greek columns. You have the Doric style, Ionic, which has the scrolls or the curls there, and you have Corinthian. Corinthian is more flowers and a little more fancy at the top. So when you're drawing your temple today, think about which type of pillar you want to try and have on your temple. Okay, so let's get started. Today you're going to need a ruler and a pencil and an eraser. Okay, just start drawing. You're also going to need some markers, a light blue marker and a dark blue marker. Okay, and I'm going to use a few oil pastels when I do my trees. And of course, watercolor paint. So let's begin. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to make a diagonal line going from this corner of your paper to this corner of your paper. So maybe I need a yardstick to do this, but you see, I'm gonna line it up corner to corner like this and draw a line across. And now I'm gonna go this way corner to corner. And what this does is it creates a vanishing point right in the middle of our paper. We're drawing in one point perspective today with the vanishing point right here. So I can just put a small dot there in the center. Okay. All right. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start to build my temple. So I'm going to take my ruler. Okay. And I'm going to move this a little closer. I'm going to make a straight line going across from this point here to this point here. See that? Okay. Now I'm going to actually build a perfect uh, rectangle. So I'm going to come straight up from right here. And on the other side, straight up. Make sure your ruler is straight. Okay, and now I'm going to connect from here to here, keeping my ruler straight the whole time. All right, like that. Now we have, oopsies, and if you look, this is why it's very careful, important to keep your ruler straight when you do this. You see how my, it was a little tilted. Okay. Keep your ruler very, very straight when you're putting in that middle box, so to speak. Okay, so if I'm drawing a marker, it looks something like this. This is what I've done. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase out the center X that's in the middle here. Okay, I don't need this anymore, but I'm going to keep these other guidelines. So this is going to be the front face of my temple. This is where all the pillars are going to go. But on top of my temple, you'll notice there's a nice little triangle roof. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a dot right about here. And what I did is I kind of came up from the center of my paper. And I put a dot at the point where I want, how high I want my roof to go. Now the triangles on Greek temples, the tops of them, their roofs were kind of shallow. You know, they weren't steep peaked. So now from the dot, I'm going to connect using my ruler from here to the corner using my ruler, the corner of my building. Like that, and now I'm going to do the side. And you can see now my temple has a roof. Okay, time to put on the columns. So I'm just going to do straight lines going up like this across the face of my temple. These are my columns coming in, and I'm going to decide on the style in a minute. I'm just putting in the 
straight lines for the columns. Okay, once I have them, then I have to decide what kind of tops I want to do. I think I like the Ionic style, which is using scrolls. So I'm going to go on to the top of each pillar and go like that. And I'm going to skip every other one because there's a little bit of a space between each of the pillars. Skip space here, okay. I like that scroll shape. But you could also do Corinthian or Doric if you like. Skip a space. There we go. Okay, and at the base of the pillars, there's kind of like a little trapezoid shape. There we go. Okay, now the roof, I'm just going to add one more inside triangle. There we go. And now I can put in the stairs. Stairs. So what I'm going to do for stairs is I'm going to go diagonal line, diagonal line, okay. And then I'm going to go straight across like this. This is the first step. Okay, then I'm going to go chunk chunk, straight line down, straight line down on either side. And then I'm going to connect those two little straight lines that I had made. Okay, I can shade in that rectangle there because that's the front face of the stair. Okay, now I'm going to go from this point, diagonal line out, diagonal line out. Okay, and then I go across. And then straight one down, straight line down, straight little line. So it's kind of like trapezoid rectangle, trapezoid rectangle. That's the pattern for stairs. And then I can shade that in. Okay, now I'm also going to shade in the spaces in between each column. Because this is the inside of the temple and it would have been dark inside. So I'm shading in between each column. Okay. And now I can do a little path that's kind of leading from the stairs maybe out into the grass. So I'm going to start small about that and then I'm going to get big. I'm going to curve and then I'm going to pick up here and notice how the path gets wider. It widens as it comes towards you, the viewer. Small here because it's further back in the space. All right, now let's do some trees. Let's do some nice trees. So for the trees, notice how in the picture at the top, the trees that are closest to the viewer are taller. And then the ones get smaller as they approach the temple because it's going back in the space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in my first tree right here. I'm going to put in the little trunk. I'm going to let the trunk cross my guideline. Okay, and then I'm going to do some And notice I'm going all the way up to this diagonal line. That's how tall my tree goes. Okay, it comes from the bottom, this diagonal line going out all the way to the top all the way to the top of that other diagonal line that's going to the corner. Okay, now I'm gonna put in my next tree. Again, do the trunk first. Trunk is like a little rectangle, and then I'm gonna go all the way up to that line for the top of my tree. Okay, and let's see if I can squeeze in a third one. I'm gonna do another little tree trunk there, and then I'm gonna go all the way up to the top of this line there. See? See how the trees are look big and then they get smaller as they go back in the space. So let's do the same thing on this side. Start right here. Put in your tree trunk. And now I'm going to go sh 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 all the way up to this diagonal line coming out and then back down for the first tree. Second tree.
third tree. Little tree root here, or tree, sorry, not tree root. <laughs> this is the um, trunk, trunk of the tree. You notice how I'm going all the way up to this line, and then I stop, and then I come back down with my tree. Okay, now let's do a lightning bolt coming out of the sky, maybe striking the top of the temple. This is, maybe this is Zeus's temple. So I'm going to do chunk, chunk. Lightning bolts, yeah. So now it's time to erase out the guidelines. So I don't need these lines anymore. Okay, they were just guidelines, so now I can erase them. Okay, and now it's time to add color to my picture. So before I color anything, I really want to think about my supplies. So I'm going to use markers on the temple because markers have a fine tip and it's easier to get in there and do the details. And I'm going to use oil pastels for my trees. So I'm going to do marker work first. Okay, anywhere where it was kind of dark, I'm going to do some shading with a dark blue marker. Shade in there. Okay, dark blue. And I'm going to use light blue to really outline my pillars. But I'm not going to color in the pillars because in Greece the pillars were white. Most of the time, the columns, because they're made from marble. So I'm just outlining it. Okay. And then anywhere where I put oil pastel, remember it will repel the watercolors. So let's say I want to do my trees in oil pastel. I'm not going to color them in all the way. I'm just going to kind of put some texture, some tree-like texture on them. Just small swirling motions with my oil pastel. I'm just moving the pastel around in tight little circles to give the impression of leaves. Like this. Okay. Moving it around, small tight circles. There we go. Around, start to color in the trees. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, and then you'll notice that I did kind of a rainbow-like sky, like this part of the picture is green. And then this part I did yellow. And then this side piece I did blue and I did the top red. Just to kind of make it a little more dramatic in terms of color. And when I put the watercolor on top, okay, the oil pastel shows through underneath. So I'm gonna do green, green grass down in the path area. But I wanna first kind of go over my path with oil pastel, so that way that beautiful pencil line I made doesn't get lost when I put the watercolor on top. Doing my green grass in this section. And I'm gonna to have to do the stairs and marker, so I wanna be careful when I get near those. I don't wanna paint those green. Okay, this section I will do as like a nice light blue. And then the sky, I'm gonna do a very dramatic red, like sunset red. Be careful of my lightning bolt, because I don't want that to be red, I want that to stay white. Okay, I'm gonna do these trees over here, small little circles, moving the oil pastel around in tight little circles to try and mimic leaves on the trees. And all of my trees right now are drawn in one point perspective. One point perspective means there's just one vanishing point and it's kind of behind the temple. Where the temple is partially blocking our vanishing point now. There's my trees on that side. So I'm gonna paint in blue over here and let the blue kind of mix with the red. And the more water I put on my brush, the lighter the color will be. 
less water I use, the more pungent the watercolor will be. There we go. Can mix some of the blue where the red meets it by putting a little bit of red on top of the blue watercolor, blending it in together. Because uh, I want it to look like a sky, you know. So mix some blue in there with it. There we go. Okay, and right where the yellow and the red are meeting, that's where I'm going to do orange, right where yellow and red meet. Mix some orange watercolor paint in with the yellow so it seems more seamless blend of sky. Not just dramatic stops and ends to color. You know, the blend should, the red should blend into the yellow by going from red to maybe a lighter orange and then into yellow. Okay, I'm going to finish up my green section, my green, green grass. All right, and then I just need to do a little bit of marker work on the temple. And then by the end, I will have a watercolor painting of a Greek temple with the column style that I find most interesting, which for me is Ionic, but maybe you want to try the Corinthian or the Doric. Um, I can't wait to see your temples and really think about maybe which Greek god you want to dedicate your temple to. So this is a Zeus temple. So I chose Zeus's symbol, which is the lightning bolt, but I could choose a symbol from a different god if I want to. And we'll talk about that in the PowerPoint a little bit. Can't wait to see your temples.